picking it out. Whenever you got your agent, um, I guess that's how you got your actually first on screen role. <laughs> yeah. Um, this was when I was still doing commercials and um, I had been, because I had no resume to speak of my commercial agent had to kind of slide me into the agency without, without the knowledge of the heads of the, of the agency, because they would have been like, Oh, this guy doesn't have any, yeah. you know, this, he doesn't have any credits or anything. So they, they put me, they hip pocketed me in the dance department and which I didn't really know about. And I found out, you know, that I was in the dance department and I remember being to my, to Nathan and my agent at the time, I was like, bro, have you ever seen me dance? <laughs> because <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, you know, I could do the white boy shuffle and that was, you know, I could you know, do the white boy underbite and stuff, but that was pretty much it. And, uh, so, um, he called me one day and he goes, man, I have this audition for, for young and the restless and it's for, it's to dance. <laughs> and I was like, bro, I told you, man, I am not, <laughs> not a dancer. And he goes, just go. It's got, you've got lines and just try and, you know, just try it, have fun. So I showed up at this audition and, you know, there are all the, all the other guys were there. They're like, you know, doing their dance and stretches and their whatever. And the, and I was like, you know, I'm a wrestler. I was like, man, my dad could see, you know, I, I, I was just like, I don't know about this whole acting thing. Yeah. And so they went down the line and they like, okay, you, and then he kind of did his thing and you did his thing and they got to me and they're like, okay, you. And so all I started doing was the Spicoli from um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> yeah. And I was standing there doing the Spicoli and the, the, these two women that were cast <laughs> and they, they started laughing. They were oh. like, oh, my God, where, who are you? Like, what, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? And I go, man, I don't know, but I'm, I'm having a good time. And, uh, and I, I got the job. Wow. You know, I mean, and that was kind of – for me, a through line for the rest of my career was, man, like, I don't, I may not really know what I'm doing, but I'm having a good time. And, yeah. uh, and, and that comes uh, across. Yeah. I learned to just be myself. You know, I was like, I'm just, I am who I am. Just be my authentic self and don't try and put on any, you know, don't try and bullshit people. Cause especially yeah. out here, they see right through it. But uh, yeah, so on my uh, was on my birthday, I guess maybe 1997. My Young and the Restless aired, and uh, for the first time, I got to actually speak on uh, on camera. And I remember I, in the in the dialogue, I added this Elvis thing. I was like, we had to we were at the club at a bar or something, and th these girls came over and asked. Me, or I asked them to dance, and then, and then I and, they, and I did this like on the dance floor, baby, you know, <laughs> like out of nowhere, you know. Again, it was like just being my, you know, just that's the kind of stuff I would do in life. I'd be like, yeah, baby, we're gonna, right. and um, and uh, so um, I was off to the races, and and I did, I had to dance on the dance floor, and it was embarrassing and you know someday i'll find the clip and and further embarrass myself by posting it to one of my social media sites oh yeah you got to yeah so yeah. so now you had something on your resume yeah 